to 12 Days of Christmas. I am Rebecca, and today I just wanted to share with you my minimal decorating. Now, it could be minimal, could not be minimal. Minimalism is just like health, and everyone has their own definition of it. So, you let me know what you think after I've showed you everything that I've done today. As you can see behind me, I've got stuff all over the place, and I actually just did a Trader Joe's haul, which may or may not have went up yet. So, if it hasn't, definitely stay tuned, and if it has, check it out. So I'm going to share with you how I decorate. I really try to just not do a lot because honestly, I don't want to have to clean it up at the end of the season. And I don't have a lot of like tabletops and areas to put stuff. So most of my decor is actually on the wall, which you'll see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to see the minimal decorating and let's get into it. Hi, Cairo. What are you doing? You want to come help mommy decorate? No. Already decorated our tree. We did that a few days ago. We bought a real one last week and we let it settle for three or four days. Then I just decorated it with basically stuff that Taylor has made over the years, either crafts that we've purchased for her to do or stuff from school. Basically since her first year of preschool, she has made at least one ornament every single year. And we have some of our favorites that we bought, you know, on vacations and um, ones that we have just picked up over the years, and so there's not like really a theme with it. The only theme that I like to keep is for my star to match the garland. So we did silver, and then last year we did buy a new tree skirt with it, which we really love. And that's really all our tree. You do have to water it like crazy because it soaks up all that water. And have you seen those collars for trees? I really might want to get one of those sometime, but I don't know if you can have that with a real tree. And in my dreams, I will have a real tree in my living room and an artificial tree in every other room with themes, even a palm tree. Wouldn't that be fun? And we also picked up this awesome wreath from Michael's. It was on sale for 50% off. Honestly, I don't know anyone who would actually spend $70 on a wreath, if that's you. I mean, I guess that's awesome, but I surely would not do that. I like getting some deals. And I love all the ornaments on here. I just like the style of wreath a lot. And the funny thing is we can't even shut our door because it is so thick, but I love it. I went to Target and picked up two of the same exact um, wrapping paper sets. And I really like these. Like I am not about like everything red and green. I like having the colors like the wreath. I like having blue in it. And it matches our walls better because I have like this sea green, tur not really turquoise, it's more of a green, like a sea green colored wall. And I think the white ones are gonna pop really well because what I'm gonna do is actually wrap all of my, um, all of my artwork and photos and make like presents all over the house. It's gonna be awesome. Also picked up some unique, woo, ribbon. Two of the same. I thought that was super cute. And then I picked up a big bag of bows. You can't have a present without a bow. And we also picked up, whoops, these are not going to be for decoration, but I did get some greeting cards. It's been a few years since I've actually sent greeting cards because I end up seeing everyone I really need to send a card to. But not yet this year. So this year we're going to send some greeting cards and I wanted a combination of them and I think these are really cute and if I can remember who I sent them to this year maybe I'll send them a different one next year so I don't think I actually have that many people to send it to but we're going to do that on another day so I decided that actually I'm going to use this red one with candy canes and they are different colored candy canes which is super cute can you see that and I'm gonna use that in the kitchen because the kitchen is white, like an off-white color. So I think that'll pop. Plus we have red brick in our kitchen. I think that'll look really cute. And so for the other one, so we are gonna use white. And then actually in here, it's the same color as the kitchen. So we might go ahead and do the candy cane out here as well. So I'm gonna get to wrapping and I'll show you what it looks like in the end.
I just have one, two, three, four, four more to go. Forgot to do the ribbon and the bows. I think I'm going to use the red and white for in here. wall right when you walk up the steps I have a mirror with this garland trim and I just bought this garland at the dollar store and I just wrapped it around the edge and today we did have to do some patchwork to it because some of the pieces um, kind of fell off I bought at the dollar store last year so hey but I love this I actually will keep this on past New Year's because I just think it's pretty and then down here I just have a little tiny elf and some coasters that's it this is like the only table I think I have in my house. So I just have one of them above our spice rack. And the other I have by the door when you walk in. Very simple, minimal. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's pretty late right now. Um, well, it's dark right now, and so the lighting is terrible. But we just have the lights over here with our red ribbon and silver bow. And the same exact one on the other side. And then for the big one, we decided to go with the snowflakes and then a silver ribbon and a blue bow. We have these three stockings that we're going to put right here. But I had the command hooks. I don't have the sticky parts, so I need to get those. But that is what we're going to put. We have Taylor's stocking, Chris's stocking, and then I have this like fluffy white one. So cute. I got that for Michael. So here's our simple, minimal tablescape. And all we have is a poinsettia runner. I have this like triangular table that eventually we're going to replace with a rectangular one, but we thought we would be different years ago and get this one. But as you can see, they don't really make, you know, things for triangular tables. We could do like a, um, like a center or a round centerpiece, but we want something that we can put stuff out on Christmas. So we have Santa's cookie plate, our little cake stand that we put our bananas on, and then this is a cutting board, and we just have this little star um, dish that I think those chocolate covered shortbread cookies would be perfect in so we can just snack on them all day on Christmas and then a couple candles and this little snowman thing which is actually like a dip holder but I've never used it as a dip holder you could put a candle in the bottom apparently I think that it doesn't have like any ventilation so I don't really know how it's going to work but it's more of a decoration for us and then we just did an off-centered cross on this one it's the same as in the kitchen and yeah, that's our dining room. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Is that minimal or is it not? Like I said, everyone's definition of minimalism is just like health. We all have our own definition of what that is because honestly, we are all very unique people. So I hope you enjoyed. Please stick around for the rest of the 12 days of Christmas and beyond because I will be sharing lots of videos. That was Rose. Um... <laughs> I'm going to like to watch that back. Let's see how fast she was. I was like, came out of nowhere. But anyway, um, where was I at? What was I saying? But stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Please like the video. And stay tuned for after the holidays because I'm going to be sharing all kinds of things food related and just health and wellness related mom stuff. I am a mom of a nine-year-old. Basically, have two jobs and I run a wellness center that I've had for almost 10 years. And I also am an online health coach. So I am very busy. But I want to share all this stuff with you. I'm super excited to be here, and I'm hoping that you enjoy everything that you see. And I hope you have an awesome day. And please go do something good for yourself because you are number one. I will see you next time. Bye.